also I am practicing, you know, my, it's a part of my daily life. I'm going to the gym and uh, sometimes I'm tra training the weight, weight training. At the gym, always I, I met one very wonderful senior person. He always say, said to me, hey, how are you? Are you okay? And good, good, good. He looks like a, a Muslim uh, religious person. A wonderful heart. One day, it was a couple of you know, weeks ago, the other Muslim young person, he got into the gym to do the weight training. But he didn't wear top. He didn't wear any t-shirts like that. As soon as the senior Muslim friend saw him, he asked him, the young person, hey, you should wear the top. What country are you coming from? Pakistan, Afghanistan? At the time, I heard amazing answer. The person said, I came from the way you asked. It was amazing because when a person asked to the Jesus, where is the kingdom of God? Jesus said, the kingdom of God is not here or there. It is in you. That is like a very Zen way that the answerer is not chasing any dualistic side, but directly focusing on the questioner's heart. With the answer from the young person, my friend, senior guy, he couldn't say any more. But I had one idea. And I asked a young person, wow, you brought a fantastic answer to him. What a wonderful it is. But I have one question for you. You said that you came from the way he asked. Not this country, not that country. But before he asked you, where are you coming from? Now he couldn't answer well. <laughs> I don't know, he didn't practice Zen. But his answer was very Zen. When he didn't say anything, I said, Shalom. Many doctrinal barriers, principles, laws really it is not bothering us actually because why? They are having no traces. But why we are always chasing it there? Because why? We really clearly don't understand what is talking now and listening now. If we know that, you will see what is Buddha and where is the Jesus at this very moment. See, God is not anywhere inside is a dualistic situation also. But when we are bringing 
and unleashing our God from inside with a wonderful conversation. Now we are writing Bibles and sutras every single moment. And that is the way to achieve our real peace and the real love in this world. Love and peace is only existing because of war and hatred. But real peace, real talking, real conversation, it's only coming from you. I don't know if it's helpful or not. It was a long answer. Is it okay? To you? <laughs> All right, Thank wonderful. So any other questions? Sunim, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, today there are many uh, moral issues that mm -hmm. can perplex us. Uh, what are your thoughts about an issue like abortion? Abortion is a very serious topic. Yeah. Uh, once I participated some kind of uh, movement about anti-abortion, -abor but uh, I found that it was very political. You know, I couldn't do anything from there. But uh, mostly, all human beings. Let Let's look at look at us. It's very dualistically existing, right? Look at us. It's man or woman. You know, when we are becoming man or woman, there is no other sex in there. Whatever you see, whatever you talk, whatever you feel, when whole universe is, you know, like that, already broken to the dualistic situation, right? That's why I'm asking sometimes, what is your sex originally? As soon as we are seeing us, we think we are us. It is not us. We never saw ourselves yet. We never saw universe yet. We never saw anything in our life yet. Yeah. And then when you are struggling with abortion or not, it creates so many problems again and again and again. So that's why, again, I can ask to you from where are you asking about abortion? Let's uh, listen to the God. What is the answer from them? So when we really fulfilled with the enlightened spiritual, enlightened nature, there is no dualistic shadows. Always it is working wholly, without exception. So when we are using whole truth all times, we will not commit any mistake of first button. Then we can see real truth is there. We can see real happiness is there. And we can see real love is there. It is not flesh affairs. It is very enlightened. So this very point, when our body cannot say by itself, when our body cannot listen by itself, what is real, really talking at this very moment is the thing that we, said we should transmit to the next generations, generation by generations. Because the point is the point of all sages and all beings of their truth. That's up to you. Chasing the mud ball is creating material affairs. That's why Bodhidharma said, confused mind cannot save us from the karma, the law of cause and effect. It creates eternal confusions. 